Hey guys, it's Ken. How you doing? Right now it's a beautiful, kind of warm, but a beautiful sunny afternoon. Happy Thursday to you guys out there. But a few hours from right now, all this sunshine and all this beautiful weather will be gone temporarily as Hurricane Matthew makes his way from South Florida up the eastern coastline of Florida dropping all kinds of rain and wind and tornadoes and I was thinking about this house right here because this was the, the location for my very first daily vlog way back when I first started this process and I'm out running errands right now some last minute errands picking up some last minute things for the house and for Bridget and I to be safe to hunker down as they say to keep our our property and our home secure this is going to be a very big storm bigger than Charlie, more powerful than Charlie, and Charlie did a lot of damage to this area, as well as Winter Park in Orlando. The whole state of Florida <laughs> was impacted by that storm. But this was going to be bigger and more powerful, so a lot more preparation to do. That's kind of what I'm doing. But as I'm doing that, I began thinking about this house for some reason. It kind of, it kind of pinged in my head as a little reminder to come, come check it out. I wonder if this house will be standing at the end of this storm. I figure this house is probably, I don't know, what do you guys think? Early 1900s? Between 1900 and 1920, perhaps? Okay, the staircase there is falling apart. The little railing there is falling apart. You can only imagine what's inside. Look at the rooftop. There's all kinds of things growing on the tin roof. All kinds of uh, plant life growing trees. And plants. So I began thinking about how you know we're hunkering down and we're securing our our strong buildings in preparation for the storm. So I began to think about this guy right here. I like old places. If you watched my video the other night, I talked about some old locations in Slavia. If you know anything about me, I love old abandoned places or just old buildings in general. I just think they're so rich with history and they got a lot of stories to tell. This this cabin here, this building, this little house here. Has a lot of stories to tell, even though it's vacant, it's empty, there's nobody in there anymore, just sitting there. If the walls could talk, as they say, if the walls could talk. So I wonder if this home will be here when the storm is over. What do you guys think? Okay, I'm going to come back here. Maybe not tomorrow. I'm not sure if I, if I want to do a daily vlog tomorrow or not. I may or may not. With the, the loss of power that's going to happen right here, we're all going to lose power. They're telling you, they're going to lose power, period. So when I get home tonight, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to upload this video that I'm going to shut off my camera, my phone, and charge it fully so we have a full charge on all of our electronic items. And even if, the, even if the batteries are full on our cameras, the cell towers might go out. So there could be a chance of even though you have full access to everything on your phone, you can't make a text or a phone because cell towers are out. We do have a landline. I think we're pretty well set. We have all the essentials. We have water, we have batteries, we have propane, we have lots of food. Speaking of food, check this out. I went to the bread aisle again at Publix, and I think it's laughable, because there's so many things that are gone, like bread. I say, why is it during a hurricane, we all got to eat bread? <laughs> like, I know bread is one of those things that everybody likes and everybody needs. You don't have to cook it, you don't have to store it in a refrigerator. But I just bought a bunch of carrots, and I bought a bunch of cucumbers, and I bought some cu some cauliflower, a bunch of good veggies. We're going to ice them down tonight and have those as a snack. And uh, I love dipping a cucumber in peanut butter. So even though we do have a little bit of bread at the house, I don't think we need an onslaught of bread. I just thought it was funny that when a hurricane comes to town, the first thing everybody goes for is the, is the bread. Um, I thought that was kind of funny, but I understand the reasoning. I understand the reasoning, but... So we have plenty of food, plenty of supplies, plenty of doodads, plenty of trinkets, as I said yesterday. <laughs> Not sure why I felt the need. I just think I like to say the word trinkets. I like to say the word trinket. And in a, in a, in a moment like this, when we're kind of stressed out about the storm, if you can chuckle for a moment at the word trinket, do it, right? So I wonder if this trinket will be right here, will be here standing at the end of this storm. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. I would love to go inside one day it's kind of poke around. Even though this place is for sale, this property is for sale, I did see people milling about back there. I imagine this kind of house 
with all these trees is probably something to think about. Our home is surrounded by trees as well. But I was told by the tree guys. We had our tree guys come out last summer and trimmed all of our trees and got them ready for a moment just like this. So we are pretty well prepared. But he did say because your property is surrounded by trees, it'll buffer a lot of the wind coming in. So I am planning on taking a lot of video. I do plan on taking video of the storm as it comes through. So if there's no daily vlog tomorrow, it's only because I'm reserving battery power for more important things not that you're not important because you are but reserving battery power for essentials and possibly a cell tower is out who knows so look forward to a new daily video tomorrow tentatively if not you can blame matthew blame it on matthew but we'll come back here at some point and check on this awesome property awesome old abandoned structure see if it is still here if it survived the pummeling that Matthew will surely bring to us. I love this stretch of road. It's a great little... Back, back down there is a red bug. Our home is back this way. But oftentimes I ride my bicycle down here. It's a nice little slope. You were coming up here. You're huffing puffing when you get to the top of the hill. You let it go and you coast all the way down there it's pretty cool so thanks for watching and tuning in one last look at the structure and what do you guys think leave a comment down below do you think this structure will be here when i come back and visit it in a couple of days maybe even tomorrow who knows something fell on me just now a spider perhaps so okie dokie artichokey see you guys tomorrow hopefully if not, be safe, take care of yourselves, hunker down, as Tom Terry says, and all the other weather people, hunker down. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.